Hello, welcome to the Maya tool build. This is Michael. We're going to uh, finish off our curve series. We're talking about a couple other ways of making curves. If you go to the create menu, we have curve tools. And you have lots of curve tools in here you can use to create a curve. But let's go over to three point and two point circular arc tools. First, let's look at two point. So two point circular arc is as you would expect based on the name. You click a point, then you click another point, and if you drag it, you can see here what happens. You get this kind of gizmo, and it's going to draw an arc based on these two points. If I click, and it also gives you there, you see the in the little text, the radius of the arc you are creating, if in case that is important based on what you're doing. So I'm just going to click and let go. You can see here, our tool isn't complete yet. We can manipulate these things still. If I click and drag on this blue handle, for example, um, it looks almost like a uh, bow and arrow, so to speak. But don't forget this, but just so you can recognize what's happening, this line right through here is the actual curve that we're making. And we're manipulating these blue handles to change the shape of that curve. So these two squares are the two endpoints of the arc, the curve that we're making. But this point here controls the depth of the arc. You see, as I bring it in, the arc gets much broader. As I pull it out, you see it gets more shallow, like through here. So it's kind of a, a depth of the arc that we're making. And in this piece, this circle, if we click it, you'll switch between the arc being kind of a positive or negative based on those two points. We have arc going around this way, or if you want the arc to go in the opposite end of the circle, we'll go this way. And again, this handle still works the same way. You can also pull this handle across that threshold and it will switch between the two pieces or two halves of the quote unquote circle that we're using. So yeah, two point circular arc tool. You can see here we can go pretty uh, pretty wide with it. You can go almost all the way to a full circle like so. But yeah, it, can, it can be very uh, exact. You can get a very exacting position of your circular arc that you're trying to make for whatever project you're working on and for whatever reason reason that you have to make an arc. There you go. So once we have it already, hit enter. And then we have our curve. So it creates this arc, perfect arc shape based on those two points and the other uh, handles that the tool provided. If I right click on it and choose control vertex, you can see we have all these CVs that we can deal with and so on. If we look over here in the channel box, we have under inputs, which says make two point circular arc one. If I click it, we get lots of options here. We have, for example, the curve degree being cubic. We can be linear if you want, so that the, all the lines between uh, points are straight instead of curvy. Or we'll go back to cubic, that works too. Sections is how many spans it has. If I lower this down, you won't see a lot of difference here. Unless you go to linear, let's go to linear real quick. So you can see here the different sections. If I increase or decrease that, how many sections are in the curve? Go back to cubic. You can right click and go to control vertex. You can see with a span, a sections of four, we have much fewer control vertices to work with. And then here we have point X, Y, and point one X, Y, and Z, point two X, Y, and Z. So you can change those uh, positions of those points of the arc after the fact. So click this, you can go up and down or along the x-axis or the z-axis. Same for point two. And then we have direction vector, x, y, and z. Again, controls that. You can see which, where along a 180-degree arc you want this arc shape to point, like which direction you want the arc to point in. You have the radius. Again, gives you that shallow or much deeper arcing curve. 
And then you can toggle the arc, toggle the arc on or off. Right now it's off. On goes the opposite direction. Off comes back here. So these are all the same uh, kind of commands that the handles give us. But yeah, that's a two-point circular arc. I mean, there's more to it, though. We can keep looking at it. Go back to Create Curve Tools, Two-Point Circular Arc, and let's look in the settings. The settings we have here are you can choose between linear or cubic in our curve degree, cubic or three, linear or one. And then you can change the number of sections you have here. Now, the minimum number of sections is eight in these settings. So once you are creating the arc, it gives you a sections of eight, but then you saw after the fact you can lower that below eight if you wanted to. But those are the only settings in here. Reset and defaults are cubic or three with eight sections. Now, once you've made the arc, you can go back to modify transformation tools and say show manipulator tool with this make two point circular arc input selected and it brings you back to your gizmo so that you can use to manipulate the arc again. So once you've already created it, you have to click on this first and then go to Modify, Transformation Tools, Show Manipulator Tool. But as a two-point circular arc, let's delete that. Now let's look at three-point. I'm going to Create, Curve Tools, three-point circular arc. And I'm just going to reset these settings, but you see here the settings are the same. You can choose between linear or cubic curve and how many sections it has with a minimum, with a minimum of eight. So I'll close that. So I can left click. You see I get my blue square. And you can, of course, left click on the square and drag it around if you want to reposition it before you position any other uh, points for the arc. But then I'll left click over here and I place a second point. And this is a three-point circular arc, so we need a third point. So I'll place it, let's say, over here. So now you can see here I have my three handles controlling the arc shape. So again, like just by left-clicking and dragging on these three boxes, you can control the shape of this arc you're making. And then once you have it, hit Enter. Then you can go back over here to make three-point circular arc settings. Again, you have point one, two, and three X, Y, and Z coordinates. Then you can change the degree between linear or cubic and the number of sections. And you can go down below eight after the fact. But that's essentially it. Again, once, once you click on this input over here, you can still go back to modify, transformation tools, show manipulator tool to show that gizmo again after you've already made the curve. And then hit enter, you're done. But yeah, otherwise the curves are exactly like any other curve. They're just created in such a way as to make a perfect arc between two or three points. Anyway, hope you found that informative and useful. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking at curves this last month or so, uh, minus the time I was out sick. And we'll be moving on to other things after this. So if you have any suggestions for future topics, please let me know. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you later.